If you want to meet some of the sweetest swimmers in Nashville, you have come to the right place. I am joined by my friend and the executive director of Nashville Dolphins, Brenda Vroon. Hey, Brenda. Hi, Sammy. So I have to admit, you have been my kids' swim coach. I, we have a yep. near and dear relationship, but you have taken on a new role that I am just over the moon excited about. Can Thank you tell you. us about the Nashville Dolphins? Yes, I, it's my favorite thing to talk about, yeah. so um, I would love to talk about it. So the Nashville Dolphins is a nonprofit organization, mm -hmm. and we're the only one like it in the country. Yeah. We provide free swim lessons and swim team to children and adults with special needs. Mm -hmm. But the coolest thing about the Nashville Dolphins is that once you're a dolphin, you're always a dolphin. Wow. So you never age out. And it's really important for our friends and the special needs community because a lot of times as they get older, there's not activities, right. there's not things for them to do. They don't have a community of people. So the Nashville Dolphins really gives them that. And that was one of the things I think that struck me the most was that lack of age limit, right? Mm -hmm. Was Because sometimes you see that focus on especially younger children. Yeah. And I've been, you know, just remarked at the events over the years where people are coming back and coming back. And mm -hmm. wh what do you find from a volunteer standpoint? Because I, I see those relationships yes. building, especially with some of the teens that... Our volunteers volunteer. are amazing, mm -hmm. and we're run by over 150 volunteers. Wow. Um, and our volunteers are so inspired, and they're so inspiring, and they, they keep coming back. And that's what's so amazing, yeah. is the relationships that our volunteers get with the swimmers and how emotionally invested they get. Yeah. It's really fun to see. Really. Okay, so selfishly, I'm going to ask, raising teenagers, yes. what, is, what is the benefit of encouraging, you know, the teens especially to volunteer, especially when they're like, I don't have time, I don't want to, you know, well, what would the, you say to that? The really neat thing is we have so many fabulous teenagers that just come back. Yeah. <laughs> and the, one, the main thing that I think that it teaches, you know, I'm a mom of three mm -hmm. Teenagers, grown right, adults, right. and um, it just it teaches them empathy. It yeah. teaches them that everybody's you know not like them, and that everybody's different. But the thing is, is a lot of times we focus on people with disability, mm. but the Nashville Dolphins focuses on their ability. I love it. And so it's really fun to watch our volunteers just thrive yeah. in working with our population. It's yeah. quite awesome. Well, we want to get as many people helping yes. the Nashville Dolphins as possible. You have a special event coming yes, up next do. month. Tell us about it. So we have an event called Drive for Dolphins. We kind of had to rethink and do a COVID-friendly event. Yes. So um, Drive for Dolphins is going to be a drive-through shrimp boil where you can come and drive through and pick up your shrimps, two pounds of perfectly seasoned, awesome shrimp, with corn, potatoes, and sausage, um, and either rum punch or beer. Okay. And you can drive through and pick it up, or with your ticket comes a, sh a chance to get a hole in one. And if you get a hole in one, you win a brand new Tesla. I saw that. Is yes. that for real? It's this for isn't real. like one of those like little, from, no. you know, it's for actual real. Tesla. Yeah, absolute Tesla worth forty nine thousand dollars. So yeah, if you're a big golfer. You can come and take your chance. Um, even if you're not a big golfer. Come take your chance. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. For sure. I mean, right? To yeah. win a Tesla. I just think that's great. So doing something for a great cause, mm -hmm. getting a great meal, plus chance to win a Tesla. Yeah. What, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Tell and us when is, and where. It's to um, Saturday, I mean, Sunday, March 7th okay. from 2 to 5 okay. at the Harpeth Valley Golf Center. Okay. Um, if you're com if you're not comfortable, you know, getting out, you can just drive through and pick up your shrimp, or you can stop. We're gonna have a tent and a band. Great. You can have a socially distanced, safe I love it. time for a great we're cause. We're gonna put some more information up there. Hope to see you there. Before I go, I need you to know that love knows no fear. As I reflect back over our time with my guests today, I see brave, fearless, and compassionate women. Yet deep down, I know they have all experienced scary moments to get to the places they are today. If they had listened to fear instead of stepping out in faith, the world may never have benefited from their calling and capabilities. Yet here they all are, now able to help us step into the lives we were made for. I teach my students that it's okay to be nervous. That just shows that you care. But what's not okay is to let fear permeate our spirit and paralyze us. 1 John 4.18 reminds us that there is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. The creator of perfect love is God, who is also the author of wisdom. As I thought about these two characteristics side by side, James 3.17 popped into my head. The wisdom that comes from God is first of all pure, then peaceful, 
gentle, and easy to please. This wisdom is always ready to help those who are troubled and to do good for others. It is always fair and honest. So as we prepare to celebrate Valentine's Day, let's rethink how we define love. Perhaps the most loving thing we could do, both for ourselves and others, is to take that step of faith we've been putting off and see where it leads us. After all, it's impossible to give away what we don't first possess. Thank you to each of my guests and a special thank you to our sponsor, Gaylord Opryland Resort, who makes it possible for me to share my passion projects with you. It's truly my hope that after today's show, you're one step closer to discovering and sharing your passions with the world. Have a great day, make sure you make it great, and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye friends.